This is Cameron for Tweaktown, back for another uh, video preview. I'm here with Andrew from Foxconn and also Holst Hi. from Foxconn. He is a uh, the person responsible for designing this motherboard. Um, now maybe if we can start with Holst, if you could um, introduce this motherboard to us. Uh, maybe start with, start with the name of the motherboard and then talk about some of the features. Yes, and this this is our new uh, Quantum Force. Uh, P67 and his I'm um, his name the uh, Redder. Redder. Yeah. yeah. The Redder snake, Redder. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and uh, mm, the spec is about uh, we have a uh, very powerful uh, PLBM uh, solution. Uh, we have 12, 12, 12, 12 faces and uh, two two faces for the BTT and uh, two two faces for the uh, memory powers. And we provide some uh, eastern overclocking buttons, and you can use this button. Maybe in the OS, or uh, you just use this button, and you can uh, change the the FSB instant. Yeah. Instantly. Instantly. Yeah. Yes. And when when can the user overclock using the OC button? Is it only when the system is booting? Is that the only time they can push the OC button? Yes, and when you boot up and uh, you see the bus screen, and then you can push the bu push the button, and they they will have the LED, and the, the LED will be on, and you can increase the clock instantly. Okay. Now, um, this is this motherboard is based on the upcoming Sandy Bridge and Intel P67 motherboard. Um, the connector slots here. Um, what what uh, how many PCI Express lanes per slot here and uh, does it have um, dual graphics support for SLI and Crossfire? Mm. Uh, if you use the only one a uh, single PCI Express is uh, by sixteen lanes and if uh, you, you use two two graphics uh, is I uh, by by eight. by eight and we support the uh, Crossfire technology. Okay. Now, um, if we zoom out a little bit and we switch the board around, I can see here um, there is actually two two USB three um, connectors here. Uh, which which chipset uh, are you using to provide the USB three? Uh, we use the the NEC the solutions. The, I think it's the uh, now it is the most uh, popular solution for the USB three. And it is good. That's most important. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, Holst, um, besides the the features you, we've just spoke about, now is there any uh, extra uh, features on this motherboard you would like to highlight? So mm. maybe maybe the storage or um, mm. BIOS. And we have the, the dual BIOS function. Uh, not like other manufacturers, our dual BIOS is you can you can burn different BIOS in the SPI ROM. So you just by just switch by a jumper. So if you today you get a new 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 bus is very over high overclocking, maybe you can change you can only flash only one. You can put two different version bus on the same board. That yeah. is easy for overclocking. Uh, just just use a jumper to switch these two bus. Okay, well. so it would just be a simple jumper switch, and you can switch between BIOSes. That's that's quite handy. Now, um, can we just just to finish off with the features of the motherboard, um, the SATA connectors? Uh, uh, the we have uh, uh, provided SATA six uh, SATA free is provided six giga per the six gigabits, bandwidth. Yeah. yeah, and the, this two is uh, just SATA two. Okay. So there's there's two SATA three connectors and there are uh, is a total of is there four SATA two connectors on the board? Yeah, yeah. So Andrew, you've got some you've got some words to say about the you know, the concept and it's kind of like the sales concept behind this motherboard. Can you I mean we were talking off camera before. Can you can you tell me some of the uh, some of the methods you put into this motherboard for, you know, the sales and affordability of the motherboard? Yeah, sure, sure. Well, actually, um, before we are uh, going to um, design this board with uh, the, the the designer and PMs, well, what we think of is something is uh, the high. I mean, the higher motherboard should be back to the earth than before. What I mean is, uh, we don't want the user to spend 
too much expense, ex, extra mm-hmm. money, yeah, yeah, too much money on something. Actually, they <coughs> they're not really needed for the time. Just so uh, what we do is we try to uprise the CP CNP ratios. What, what that means we we just want people spend money on the performance what they can really have not not gonna spend money on something maybe they they only use one time or two times again so so yep. you, so you would say that you on this particular motherboard it it is still a high end motherboard but you you've cut out you've cut out some of the unnecessary features yeah. that people people probably probably don't need and that's that's reduced the price down making it more affordable yeah. but sort of maintaining a uh, a pretty high standard, and yeah. you 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 were also saying just before that you think this is a this is a kind of trend that you you've seen in the motherboard in- industry, not just from Foxconn, but from some of your competitors yeah. as well. Yeah, that's what we found before. Because, uh, well, I, I think that the, the users, uh, the con- I mean, the user to buy a high end motherboard, the the concept of them maybe change all the time. But I think this is the time to you know reduce some something we don't need it and back to the the, the real core uh, value i think yeah. yeah so this is a kind of this is a kind of um style attitude when it, we can expect from um, foxconn earlier you were saying that um this is this is the trend that you're seeing in the motherboard market so you um you guys are going to focus more of your time on uh, mid-range motherboards um, because that's that's where you see the real value in the market and that's where you see the real quantity for sales yes yes well uh what uh expression i mean um th- that is right because uh i think the the before right in the market I mean, another com- uh, competitors like uh, another manufacturers, maybe they are not really focused on the mid-range uh, product. What we are doing is just like a m- military arsenal com- competition with another. Wow, I got this higher motherboard than you, and then, but finally, the the user think, wow, that's too much for me. What we are gonna do is we providing and design something uh, is really um, good and uh, affordable for user that will help user to get something uh, better and better each time that is what we gonna do yeah after yeah now uh, Andrew just to just to finish off the video here um, this uh, this motherboard it's the Foxconn uh, quantum force p67 uh, can you tell us firstly um, when when will people be able to buy this motherboard and do you have an estimated cost? I know it's I know it's still a bit early, and the price may change. Well, uh, well, as I said, right, the cost should be very affordable for for users. But I think this I, I think this one is the most I mean the highest end P sixty seven for Foxconn Quantum Force series. So, but what we want is I think the price the street price will be under. 150 yeah we try our best to do that otherwise it is, it is not a high affordable higher model work now andrew the final question was um just continuing from before when um when will someone be able to buy this motherboard well uh we try try our best to catch up to launch time with intel so i think you know we, the user can be you know enjoy this one very soon yeah okay, okay. This has been uh, Cameron for Tweaktown at the uh, Foxconn headquarters in Taipei looking at the uh, Quantum Force P67 motherboard here with Andrew and uh, Holst, the designer of this motherboard. Um, Catch us again soon for some uh, more video content at Tweaktown.